Asalaamu As Alaikum. Welcome to the Bayside Jewel. How y'all doing? Good, I hope. <laughs> anyway, I thought I'd uh, come on here and uh, just chop it up with y'all a little bit more. You see, now today, <laughs> uh, it's kind of a little cloudy. Done got a little cloudy here. And there's a little breeze blowing, so that's kind of nice because when the sun's out, Woo! Talking about burn up, your ass will burn up. Ain't no doubt about it. But uh, I'm looking at these birds, man. Let me see if y'all can see see these these crows or something else. Look. Yeah. Man, they're they're crows here. They're not all black. They have white chests, <laughs> like like uh uh. Penguins. That's what they look like. Flying ass goddamn penguins. But they're crows. Anyway. <clears throat> I was, uh, I was thinking about, uh, you know, when I was, uh, first getting into my, uh, African garments. You know? I remember the first time I, uh, I wore a, uh, African daishiki. Man, I got so many looks, man. It's like people were like, like that. And I remember I was in the store, and this uh, this chick, she ain't a sister. You know what I'm talking about. She's Albion. Came up to me and just started touching my fabric. I said, she said, oh, it's so nice. I said, well, you can, you can. I appreciate it, but you ain't got to touch me, you know? She just touching all on my stuff, man. But, uh, yeah, and I remember getting a lot of lot of compliments when I first started wearing my daishiki. Then I, I put on my, uh, my da daishiki that I actually had uh, that came from Gambia because uh, it's my, my uh, son's... Uh, Mother, no, my son's wife at that time is actually Gambian. So his mother-in-law uh, uh, came and she brought me a daishiki. I never wore it for about, I don't know, maybe a year or two. I never wore it. And uh, boy, when I got start wearing my thing, I put that daishiki on. It, it was that really nice fabric, right? That really nice African fabric. Yes. I put that thing on, man, and I loved it. Man, I just felt like a king in it, right? Man, so I went out. Everywhere I would go, people would compliment me on that daishiki. And, uh, man, I really... Felt a real good connection with that daishiki then. Here comes the sun. You see me start frowning a lot. <laughs> That's why, because the sun ain't no joke. But uh, yeah, everywhere I went, man, I got compliments on wearing my African daishiki. So what do you think I did? I said, shit, I'm a, I gotta find me some more of these damn daishikis. <laughs> so then I start loading up on them, you know? And I'll tell you, a good place to uh, start and, you know, just open up. Let me relocate here. Open up and uh, you might want to start checking out some of the, uh, the African shops in your neighborhoods. And start supporting some of those people, man. Some of your brothers and sisters. They are your brothers and sisters. But, yeah, uh, you know, here and there... You find little African shops, you know, and it seems like we, we just separate from them and we, 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 we say that, oh, that's, from, that's for the Africans, you know. Oh, we, we don't shop there, you know, but that's bullshit, y'all. Go up in there and, and check out some of their spices, right? They got some nice spices up in them joints. And they also have like, you know, that chia butter and cocoa butter they be having that stuff y'all 
and uh, you know their culture is actually your culture it really is especially when it comes to fashion so you're around here for how many years now have you been wearing European clothes how many years have you have any of you ever even put on an African daishiki have you but that is your stuff it's your culture man so you know what we have done is been programmed to wear European clothes you know shirt tie that's not us dude it's not so you know at the same time look at it like this I want to say this if you take a little African child and 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 you give them to a, a a Mexican family, right? That child is gonna grow up with a Mexican like culture. Even though he's African, he was raised by Mexican. So you think he's not gonna have a a, a, a big Mexican influence in his life? That brother probably grew up only ready to date uh, Mexican women. You know, probably grew up listening to a lot of uh, Mexican music, you know, which is our music still, you know. Well, I use that as an example because that has been done to you. You've been raised by the white man. <laughs> I hate to say it, but to a certain degree, following his rules, following his laws, it's like dad said this, dad said that, dad said you can't do this, dad said you can't do that. Have you ever thought about that? So even though you might may have had your own little uh, place off to the side somewhere, white man always looked at you like his children. Yeah, it's true. It's absolutely true. So to a certain degree, it's kind of hard for you to get away from a, a lot of the influence of the modern day Europeans. It's kind of hard because you, you grew up with it. You were raised by it. Just like the little uh, African boy was raised by the little Mexican family. Now he has a Mexican culture. So what you have done, you've managed to find your way, but you think you don't have a modern day European, uh, um, you know, ways, do you really? You really don't think you have anything modern Europeans have uh, inflicted upon you. I say you do. And it's going to take you some time to go within yourself to realize just what it is, you know. A lot of our brothers and sisters, you know, probably know somebody we call bougie. <laughs> Bougie-ass motherfucker. <laughs> oh, that bougie-ass bitch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Because it's this chick, she may think that, you know, she's up there with the Europeans. Or this brother, you know, he only date white girls. So, you know. But, uh, yeah, so, you know, they don't really got touch. And, it, it, you know, I can see why. It's just like the little African boy that was raised by the Mexican family. Well, it's just like we've been raised by the damn white man. Even though we had our own little part apartment or whatever. Masa said this. No, you got to do that. Masa said this. <laughs> do you see it? <laughs> yeah, okay. So, yeah, I like to encourage us to, you know, start thinking and, you know, try, try to find ways that we can get along and make things stronger for us as a people, you know, because that's what it's going to take. Even though it's happening, it's already happening. Yeah, I'm sure you heard about this great awakening. Yeah, people are. There are so many people coming over here every day. I'm meeting a lot of brothers and sisters from the empire or, or even from the UK. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, but try putting on, you know, go up, go up into those markets and try the herbs, try the spices. You'll be surprised. They can turn you on to some, some stuff there. And uh, a lot of times, they'll even be uh, selling daishikis off up in their uh, little market, little clothing and beads and things like that. 
but try, you know, gradually try. And if you're thinking about being honest with yourself, because you are African, it's a way that you can start getting closer to your culture, really. So I just wanted to come on here, y'all. And uh, we kick it with y'all, man. This day that was so hot, it started out so hot. But now it's cooling out a little bit. We may get some rain later. Sometimes that's pretty nice. But that's why you see me all the time in, in, in like a t-shirt. Because it's so hot. Whew. Really. Uh, but... Yeah, so I just wanted to encourage y'all, man. Just, you know, I'm the, I'm the great ins inspirator. I am a great inspirator. I must admit I am. I'm also multidimensional. Sometimes, most of the times I come on here as Brother Bay. And sometimes I don't tell you, but I'm just actually coming on here like uh, the jewel. The jewel that I am. Because we are jewels, y'all. Yeah, we are we are a big part of Africa. And ain't no doubt about it. So, uh, yeah, I'd like to uh, inspire y'all and come on here with some truth and telling the truth, even though, you know, it may hurt, hurt to hear sometimes, but sometimes you need to hear it, right? But, yeah, so... I say don't discriminate against uh, the little market, African markets, man. Stop in there. Stop in there and say say hi. Get to know your people, man. And, uh, you know, if you can spend a couple of bucks with them, you know, I'd ra rather give it to them than to give it to these modern-day Europeans. Really. If they got the same thing and they got good stuff, you know, yeah. I'd rather give it to them than the modern-day Europeans. So, and I know they're all over the na little neighborhoods, you, you know. So, yeah, just stop in there and check them out. Okay? Anyway, I just wanted to bring this at y'all. Uh, coming from the Bayside Jewel. Today I'm your host, The Jewel, all right? Just like you're the Jewel. So it's not just me alone. We are the jewel, the jewels of Africa. Until next time, y'all. Salam alaikum.